the snapping turtle is trying to eat this blue heron. Hey, Capone, stay. Capone, stay. Stay. Crazy. I gotta get rid of this snapping turtle. that bird? Good? Okay, I don't know if that was still running. A couple <laughs> wax on the shell with the paddle and the uh, turtle let that blue heron loose. I didn't know turtles ate blue herons. Holy cow. Just another reason why I'm not swimming in the river. That and those big giant water bugs. Unbelievable. He had him by the foot. I don't know if he drags him in and just... Freaking alligator. Unbelievable. Couldn't let my dog in. We just swamped the boat trying to bail out after rapids. And then I see this bird freaking out. All it was is his leg, so I'm sure it'll be all right. He didn't fly away. Crazy, crazy the things we see. In it, Capone? You just want to get home, now you're wet. We took a wave over the boat, didn't we? Guess it's time to get us a little uh, canoe cover thing. I know, I know, we're hurrying up, okay. So I'm getting these window boxes um, built and uh, I'm taking a little bit fatter. I had a couple pieces that were um, real thick. This is uh, about two and a half inches thick. So I'm gonna put those on the top. Um, I think it'll look cool, a little bit thicker, like it's carrying the weight of the, the you know, cordwood wall. But anyway, I had to use them somewhere. So this is one of those spots where it wouldn't uh, affect anything being a little thicker. The other thing I'm doing is taking a little bleach and you can see that there's some um, mold or whatever on this wood because it wasn't in the direct sunlight where I was keeping it. I was I have it stickered and stuff, but uh, I don't have it in a spot where it gets a ton of sun, which is a mistake. But um, so I'm just spritzing it with some bleach to kill that and it won't grow anymore.
So this is what we do. We haul the generator to the pond and have a big uh, pump, some pump type deal. Plug that in and then we can rinse this off really well with that hose and dump it out. Um, usually the cement will stay on the ground and the water can go back in the pond. So, and we have a limitless supply of water so we can get this thing nice and clean. And we have a uh, unlimited supply of water so we can get this thing really clean. So I got these really wide boards from the uh, Alaskan sawmill and I'm just cutting them into planks. Uh, number one to extend them just a bit because I'm going to leave about a quarter inch between when I set them up for the, the uh, platforms in the sauna. And then your perspiration and stuff will, will kind of seep through there instead of having just one big giant board. Um, so that's my thought anyway. Kind of cool because uh, one of the edges is is a live edge, so it'll give you uh, more platform area um, to to lay on on one side and more uh, less room to sit on, so your knees aren't so close to the the wood stove in the back end. I used a skill saw to cut it. Not a big deal because any imperfection of the cut, I'm gonna lay them just like they they were cut. Flip them over and lay them down so they'll all kind of match up even the crooked line um, and then I'll sand all this down the edges and stuff so there's no well so it's comfortable for your bare ass Just installing these um I don't know what you call them ledger boards what's nice is you can just mount it right to the side of the wall pretty easily and then I'm gonna span that with a two inch thick rough cut planks all the way across and I'm hoping that'll be strong enough if not I'll put a leg in the middle There. I'll probably plane this off and uh, sand the edges. Probably use it for a while like that and then maybe varnish it later. Let the heat and stuff um, get all the moisture out before I varnish it. Now this platform is uh, 32 inches off the ground and I'm going to make this one 22 inches off the ground. Um, He's not dead, by the way. Capone, there you go. I don't want the, everybody to think you're dead. So my wife's side will be probably, she, she wanted a, a lower bench so she could sit and her feet could touch the ground. And then um, I wanted to get one up higher because actually they say for every inch, you know, depending on the size of your room, 
every inch is about one degree. So if it's, so it should be 10 degrees hotter on the top bench. So you can adjust your comfort level. It should be strong enough. It gives just a little bit, but I think it'll be fine. <laughs> 